what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody guys take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box okay shoot me an email i will get back to you let's get right into this so if your person is dealing with the karmic since we just seen that there is a, a, a karmic energy that is a uh, jealous of you okay we're gonna see what's going on with the dm and the karmic at this time okay let's get right into it what's going on with this karmic impulsive hasty so this masculine made an impulsive decision to deal with this karmic hasty spontaneous unpredictable okay and if you can look if you can see that card clearly my lighting is kind of off um there is jellyfishes on this card so it's almost like this masculine made an impulsive decision to either fuck with this karmic or chose this karmic and now he has gotten stung okay now he is feeling the pain of making this impulsive and rash decision afraid so this masculine is scared as fuck to come towards you okay he's hesitating um because it's almost like he has to face the truth like um he, this person's a coward they're scared to come towards you and they're scared to face the truth this could person could have been lying about dealing with another energy and then you might have found out and they impulsively ran to this karmic and jumped into this relationship with this karmic and they feel stupid as fuck for it. This person is out. Look, even if they're dealing with other people, this person right now is just trying to be alone. Taking time for themselves. Even if you think they've chosen this karmic or whatever, this person feels very, very alone. They're spending a lot of time alone, doing a lot of thinking. Um, just really in their head. It's a rainy day in that picture, so they're really going, they're going through it, okay? And um, they're scared to come forward because it's almost like you found out something that they were lying. They were blatantly lying to you about this. Just lying and lying and lying. And then something came up and you had proof here on what they were lying about. And instead of coming towards you and facing the truth here, they cowardly hesitated because they were afraid and made an impulsive um, decision to do something with this karmic. And they are getting stung for it. This person is very, very emotional right now. Okay, they are being affected very, very bad by this breakup or by this separation between the two of you. They're almost to a point of a hysteria, like where um, they're just like blowing up and going off on people out of the blue. Okay, uh, yeah, and it's because of their own unhealthy habits here. Detrimental drugs, self-control. So this person and this karmic could do drugs together, okay? They could party together, you know. Whoever this karmic is, they enable this masculine's unhealthy habits and their unhealthy choices. And it's like with you, this masculine has to keep their shit together. And drugs, you know, they I'm not saying they might be out here smoking crack, but, you know, they could be like popping exos, you know, um, motherfucking doing whatever the kids do these days that they think is fucking normal, okay um drugs not uh, weed's not a drug so we're not even gonna go there <laughs> okay but uh this person needs to find some self-control because it's like whenever they start delving back into these habits whatever they are they lose control they have no self-control and they fall back into this uh self-destructive um pattern Okay, and it's almost like with you, this person, it's like you made them feel good about not dealing with these unhealthy habits, about moving on in life, about being healthy, about being normal. And whoever this karmic is, they enable this masculine's bad habits because they feel like that's a way to control this masculine. If they keep this masculine in this fucked up state of mind, this masculine can't see clearly okay and then they make these dumb ass impulsive and emotional decisions 
this masculine definitely needs to gain some self-control. It was like with you, he literally had his shit. Like, when it came down to whatever this unhealthy habit is, he had that shit under control. He had managed that shit. He was moving on. He was doing good. And then he fell in with this karmic and went right back into that old life, that old way. And it consumed this masculine. Had him all over the place. Making impulsive, rash decisions. And you found out. And now he's scared to come towards you and face the truth here. So this karmic is very offensive, okay? Um, she says hurtful things. It's almost like whenever this masculine gets into this unhealthy habit and these unhealthy patterns, he's already hard on himself for going back down that path and for doing that again. And I'm not necessarily saying it has to be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could just be unhealthy, toxic patterns and behaviors that they have came out of that they fall back into, right? Um, and so whoever this karmic is, they say hurtful and hateful things to this masculine to make him feel worse about himself, okay? She comes off as very unemotional, okay? I feel like she likes to be the center of attention and she also is like jealous of this person's family. Yeah, egotistical, cold shoulder, superior. She feels like she's better than everybody else. She even feels like, I don't know, it's like there's something about this masculine's family where she feels like she's superior to them too. So she says rude shit and I don't think she says rude shit about his family to the family but he she says hurtful and disrespectful shit like i just heard about his mama like just hurt like disrespectful like disrespecting his mom and his sisters and shit like because she thinks she's better or above these people She also feels like she's better than this masculine, like she's a, like more superior to him, especially if he falls back into these bad habits where she can make him feel bad about these bad habits. She'll be like, you ain't shit, you're just a blah, 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 blah. I'm way better than you'll ever be, you know, like, I don't know. And she's very unstable here okay out of balance overreacting irrational um sitting still content so yeah this person is your person is complacent within this connection they feel stuck okay they're not moving forward they are just staying content with what um the universe has thrown at them it's like they're settling because of their pride here Okay, they're settling with this unstable ass karmic who is all over the motherfucking place. Like, it, even if he talks on the phone with his mom for too long, she's in the background, like, going off. And he's, like, almost embarrassedly, like, this is what I'm picturing, guys. And he's, like, embarrassingly hurrying up trying to hang up the phone. Like, what the fuck is your problem? I'm talking to my mom. And the mom's like, you know, like, who is she talking to? What's going on with her? What's wrong with her? And, you know, then she feels like they're talking about her. And it's like, bitch, the world ain't all motherfucking about you. Ain't nobody talking about you. It's almost like that's that's what it is. Thank you, spirit. It's like she feels like everybody's talking about her. And so here she is acting ignorant as fuck every time a motherfucker turn around. I'm I'm just on the phone with my mom. She's screaming, acting unstable as fuck in the background. Got even his family sitting back like, what in the fuck are, is, is going on with my baby? You know, like, I just hear that, y'all. I hear his mama, like, sitting back like, what the fuck is going on with my baby? What what this this, this bitch got my baby doing over here? And it's because, I don't know, this masculine had been doing really, really good for a while. And then it's like, almost like he started fucking with this karmic and fit, or again, because I heard again, karmic again, and fell completely motherfucking off. Her raggly, no fade. Let's 
motherfucking doo-doo balls motherfucking up there face just growing out like this person looks really really bad mustard stains on his shirt and shit like boy what is you do like he's completely not what he was and it has to do with this unhealthy habit that he's fallen back into and it's very very sad because this karmic knows that that's her way of uh, controlling and manipulating this masculine he's weak to whatever that is and you 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 don't fuck around with that type of shit so you help this masculine become a better person and just live normally and be happy. And this karmic, you know, you know, like when people, and I'm not saying this masculine had a drug or alcohol problem. I'm just saying in general, when people get clean, okay, and then you, because my mom was a, a meth addict, okay, I grew up around drugs. And that's why I don't fuck around. Like I saw the effects of that drugs have on people's life you know from meth to crack both of them right so but with in especially in this day and age there's so many of my peers who have gone down through their you know just completely nothing like they were before and when they get clean they hang out with people that they call their friends that pull out this shit out in front of them and do this shit in front of them that's not your friend you're you know these people would never want you to fall back into that pattern after seeing you get better and fight your way out of a dark place and that's what this karmic it's very sad it's kind of disgusting that this karmic knows that purposely whatever it is it, 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 whether it's a toxic behavior him partying him gambling okay um she presents it like hey you want to go do this you want to go do that knowing that he it's like almost like he can't turn it down and she does it on purpose because she doesn't want the masculine doing better moving on being happy she wants to keep him in this dark place again it's really fucking sad and it's all a, a manipulation and control but it's almost like it's his own karma because he's thinking back to how good he was doing and how much better he felt and how much better he was doing with you. But he made this impulsive decision to do whatever this is with this karmic and ruined it. He ruined it all with this hasty, spontaneous, unpredictable ass decision that he made. See what else is going on with the karmic, the karmic and the divine masculine spirit. Concern. Uh, so whoever this masculine is, he's stressing himself out to the point. Like I didn't I say he's like looking bad. This dude got the gray hair. He's sitting back, looking just eyes shut. He's so motherfucking worried. He's sitting up. He's awake, but he got. Hand over his mouth with his eyes closed. Worried about this situation and what's going on. Afraid to come towards you. It's like he's stuck in this house or wherever he's at. He need to get some fucking sunlight. Okay, first off. It's almost like he hasn't seen the light of day for a couple of days. Thoughts. Yeah, because all he's doing, like, it's like, I'm telling you, this person is just getting away from it all. Because they know that these behaviors, like, they fought to get out of these behaviors for a long time. And so it's almost like a spiritual transformation that this person is going through. It's like they are getting, look at this dude. He's out there in the rain and he don't give a damn. He's just feeling that water pour over himself, really going inside of himself, knowing, like, I, I should have made better decisions here. And so that's why it's like he's so scared to come toward you. He might not even want to tell you that he fell back into certain behaviors. Okay. And this is something that he might need to come toward you and be honest with. If he's fallen off the wagon or if he's went back to some kind of toxic behavior, he needs to come and be open about that to you. And this could be what he's thinking about, okay, and concerned about is coming and being honest about these toxic behaviors that he has fell back into and facing the truth that he has fell back into a um, 
to something that is going to be very difficult to come back out of again. And it's all because this karmic, this karmic is like she intentionally, who just intentionally did this like to, to this masculine. It's really fucking sad because she knew this masculine was weak. And now this masculine is scared to come talk to you about it. It's almost like he's his pride's in the way, like, too, because he's embarrassed because he was doing in such a good place before this karmic came back along or came along. He wants to reach out. He wants to talk to you. He's really going through it. And, it, and it, you know, you people, other people can make you change your toxic people. Like, people can, like, if you smoke cigarettes, people can tell you to quit all day. You're not going to quit until you're truly ready, right? And that, this masculine is at the point where he's truly ready to, to let go of these toxic behaviors. He's comparing life without that, whatever he was doing, to life with it again. And he's like, no, I cannot go back down this fucking road again. And he wants to come and he wants to talk to you about... What's, wow, bottom of the deck, message of concern. I'm telling you, he's about to open up about whatever this is that he's like hiding, that he's a, he's embarrassed. He is. Even if you knew about some shit that he had going on in the past, he's embarrassed to admit that he let this karmic take him back down that road. He is. But it's almost to the point where he has to, he needs you to come out of this again. And he regrets that. He's really doing some soul searching right now. Thinking about you, concern, and then here it is, that message of concern. I feel like he will be text messaging you or sending you some kind of email, something like that, about what's going on. And it's going to freak you the fuck out. Because you're going to be like, that's what you, you, you know, you're just going to be thinking that he's off with a karmic, with this karmic. And he's just doing, you know, out partying and not giving, I mean, just not giving a fuck moving on with this karmic. But that's not the case. He doesn't even like this karmic, might not even really be around this karmic, but this karmic then took him down a, a path and down an alleyway that he didn't want to go down. And now he's lost, um, he's lost his way again. And I feel like you are, you, you might really worry about what's going on with him. Yeah, this main female. Whatever he's doing might get him put into jail. I'm just going to be honest, okay? So I, I really suggest that if he does, if you truly care about this person and you love this person and he reaches out to you with this message of concern, I'm just a reader. So I really can't give advice. I can just tell you what I'm feeling. My advice, if you care about this person, would to not be to turn them away because this is going to cause them to wow out and go deeper into that hole. And whatever that is, it's going to lead to them going to jail. Okay. And getting into a real situation that they can't get themselves out of. Um, and part of it is due to whatever that unhealthy behavior it is. And part of it is due to being rejected by somebody that they love so deeply at a time when they truly are at their rock bottom and truly ready to do things different for once. It's like they, they I just heard the boy who cried wolf. So they might have said that they were going to change a, a long time and, you know, to where people stop believing it, but I feel like this person, they're ready to change deep within themselves, they're, they're ready for this, but I feel like if they send you this message, and this main female rejects, um, what they have to say, that it's gonna, they're gonna really go down a, a deeper spiral, and end up locked up, for real, all right, all right, guys, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.